I'm gonna have to do this chapter. If it, yeah, chapter 10. Bricks and Mother. Mortar. That's him. The, that's fucking Ben in it. How the hell am I gonna get down? There you go. Knock yourself out on the way down, mate. An Whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> nice. Gotta find Laura. Laura's long gone. Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. It's not a full moon anymore, so we're, we're, we should be fine. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't fucking know anymore. Find you. Oh, it is still a full moon. Don't go on the lift there. Don't go in the water, bro. Swim to shore. Hmm, nice day. Fuck that, stay, bro. Much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. Near it's down. been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, Dumbass. Well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. 
These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Come on. Is there anything down here first? Let's have a look. Never know. You never know. There might be something we something hidden we can do. Yeah, all these doors are shut. Sure, we have to go upstairs, but let's just snoop around a bit. Just never know. Nothing by the fireplace. Okay. Oh, what's in that room? Let's see if there's anything in this room. Oh, this is that. Mm, no. Oh, no. No, which way do it? Which way? Oh, okay, from this way. Okay. Oh. Yeah. What's not okay? Better. There we go. Knew there was something. Knew we could have done something. See? Now which way do we go? So I can't remember which way I came from. No, oh maybe yeah. Is that no? Is that yeah? Okay. 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 At least we shut the window. That's good. Now we go upstairs. Come on, Dylan, man, bro. Come on. Your ass is in my face, bro. Come on. Why don't we go to that the office? Because then we might be able to do something. For the other two girls. Anything in here? No. Oh. Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Okay. Oh, we're not gonna go upstairs just yet. Should have a snoop around up here. See what's what. Mm-hmm. Anything back here. That's some creepy ass painting, bro. How long has this guy been here? Too many fucking years, bro. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep looking, prepare to attack. Maybe I should keep looking. Yeah, we're not we're not attacking just yet. Is there 
any other rooms up here? I want to find the office. Hmm. This room. Poor Ian. Some camp oh. mascot to kick it before camp starts. All right, well, really. Hindsight. Sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Well then. Oh, where am I going? I'm going to go that way. Um, let's actually see what's up here. Come on. What's up here? What's this? Trail cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. I bet they fucking was. Yeah, in Chris's surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think he might be right. Evidence, good on ya. So nothing else in this room. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, there? that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, uh, RIP microphone. <laughs> okay. A ring? Where have I seen this emblem before? Well, we're finding lots of stuff now. What is it? A ring, with a crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Well, I'd have took it anyway, just because. Still being a snoop, man. So now that's just a wall. Okay. There was in one of the over that side. There was things to go upstairs as well. So I'm gonna try. What was it over here? I'm not sure. Was it over this side? Yeah. Let's see what's in this room. Oh, I've been in here, okay, that's fine. Let's just go up here.
Ja, ja. So there's nothing here. Dylan, move your ass out my way, bro. Hmm, doesn't seem like anything is up here. these stairs are blocked aren't they? Fuck it, let's just go for it. Fuck it, let's just go for it. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. We're here to lead the way. Fuck meets for life, we're proud to say. say. Shout at Stroud and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Showtime, motherfuckers. Jesus. I just need some water. Okay, let's do this. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No, we're safer in here and it's nearly morning. Here they come. What the? What the fuck was that? 
It's Caitlin. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. Well, there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Right? We can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. Yeah. Beam. <gasps> oh shit, it's from the outside, though, isn't it? It's locked from the in yeah. from the outside locked, so. Come on. Come on, Caitlin. <laughs> bruh, you just fucked up, bruh. Shit, man, my heart is beating, bro. Over here, Caitlin! Go to the fucking room. Nah, fuck that. Go to the fucking room. Nah, fuck that. Investigate. Put the fucking silver bullet in, bitch. Oh, shit. Put the silver bullet in now. Oh, she's dead. We missed. She's fucking dead. Oh, fuck's sake. We got more. Well, that was a good choice, was it? Oh man. She got fucking more. I reckon it's gonna be these two to the end. So we lost Jacob, we lost, th well, we lost three, three of them. What exactly happened years ago? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas, oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did, Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle yeah. of the road? <laughs> Get it! 
it together, come on! I got it! I got it! Just get down! Son of a bitch, all run the son of a bitch. Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Fuck is Dylan in the back. He's just dying. Are we there yet? Fez. You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. And we're back. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Yeah. This isn't the end. Let's fucking do this. Go team! <laughs> It all makes sense now. You've got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't, I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. True. Take your vial. It's Ryan. Thanks. That means a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah. No worries. I guess. Ugh, pungent. Let's fucking do this. Fucking end this shit tonight. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was. I thought Max hit her, but. And I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Vores. Silas's mother. I think. Mm -hmm. 
Who is she? Is she? Is she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? This is family who did you it. blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's, where, that's why you've been hunting him. We could just kill Caleb. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Alright, listen. We're gonna end this, this shit. This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Oh, don't go on your own, bro. Don't go on your own, bro. Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. No, oh, we're getting Careful. close. We're getting close, bro. There he is. There he is. Fucking Jesus Christ. wrong what are you waiting for shoot your stupid girl fire gun are you sure about this shoot
please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. He's already a human form. So what happens now? She's gonna get pissed off at us now. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Okay, Fez. Fez. But finally, the sun lights oh, out. Good time beneath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring. But it rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razor's cold and it stings. Max, alive. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean died. to a Okay, what did, oh, he died. As a white knight on his steed. Mom died. Fuck that, we killed a lot of people. Now you know how happy I can be. Jacob dead? Okay, that's two oh, of our gang. And our good time starts and then without dollar one to spend. But how much baby do we really need? Oh, he stayed alive. Oh, sweet. That's So if I kill two, Three dead. That's not too bad. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a I would sort of fuck it out, man. Investigation now, bro. Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say, but perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill, probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? 
I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. Oh, God. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or Bonafide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really. There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. Let's just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you What are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because oh, yeah, my sources tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Whoa, wait, for real? Yes. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yes. Of course, that's uh, that, that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so I choose to believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I, I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate, yes, I do think that these are very fashionable bags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. Wasn't a compliment. Oh. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. 
Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm hmm And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Oh, that was quite fun. We're just gonna wait until the credits roll. Cause I actually do like the credits. <laughs> Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light rating. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. This is All right. pretty cool. Um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy. How long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah. There was something going on, something eating away at her, and that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, supernatch shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Huge. Oh. 
They have polar bears. It's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. What do you think of this? Oh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh, my God. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh, my God. I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. Your... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um... Who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Still, the music is great in this game. The music is great. Right? I'm gonna have to like go on Spotify and find this because I like these musics, man. But yeah, we're gonna let the credits run through.
Difficult how long credits run for. <laughs> I do like them though. So many people that works on games, it's crazy.
That was a that was a big team. A big team. <laughs>